What up, y'all? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. I think I'm only going to do two videos today. I'm kind of burnt myself up. I, I, YouTube is. I don't know if I'm being shadow man. I don't know what's going on. My views have been low lately. I don't know what the heck is going on. But, anyways, I think I'm going to take a break on Sunday. And I'll be back on Monday. But, anyways, I'll make this last video. And sorry, it's a LeBron video. See, that little idiot from earlier, I told him to stop. I really told him to stop. I'm like, you're only making it worse for yourself. But he had to get on with the insults and start mocking me. So guess what? <sighs> another LeBron video is coming. <laughs> and another episode of Tainted Legacies. So here's one thing I don't like. And it's one of the things many people don't like about LeBron is his excuses excuses and more excuses i never have enough players i need more talent i need more help <sighs> ah my my hand was hurt i broke my hand you remember that people the the soft cast that he had after the defeat in game four of the 2018 NBA Finals against the Warriors all of a sudden his hand is in the cast all of a sudden but he was playing fine he was playing fine there's always something that LeBron takes away from his L's so he can throw an excuse out there so he can make him look good that's the thing that bugs me one of the things that bugs me the most about him he never takes accountability it's always somebody else's fault it's, Rus it's Russell Westbrook's fault. It's Kyrie's fault. It's Anthony Davis' fault. It's Dwayne Wade's fault. He's old. It's Chris Bosh's fault. It's never him at all. Perfect example of this also as well. It's just recently, this past season, after their defeat by the um, Denver Nuggets. Instead of accepting blame for losing and getting swept like that, he went automatically to talk about being retired and all this stuff. Thinking about retirement, even though we know he was not going to be retired. You know, he was just taken away from that embarrassing failure. Then he had getting blocked by, what was it? Jokic, I forgot who it was. Was it Jamal Murray? It was somebody. I forgot who it was. I can't think of the top of my head. Even though, anyways, he got blocked by somebody down there. It's always, it's always like I said, it's always somebody else's fault with this guy. He should never take, take the blame. We never heard him take the blame about 2011. Maybe he did. I don't know. I didn't hear about it. He automatically got defensive after that finals and talked about, oh, 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 I get to go back to my big fancy mansion in Miami while you guys get to live, live the rest of your simple lives being simple. I'm paraphrasing what he said. He didn't say that in exact words, but you know what he said. It's always something, man. It's always something to take the blame off him. And here's another thing about him. If he's so great, I don't know, we said this at nauseum for I don't know how many times, but if he's so great, then why does he need all these players? Why does he need, I don't know how many, I can't think of, eight different all-stars, superstars, all-stars of superstars in his 20 years of his career? I just don't get it. A subscriber made a point to me because they was going on and on about somewhere in the comments on one of the videos about how LeBron needs all this help, but suppose he's the best player that ever did, supposed to be the GOAT. But you have Giannis over here. We all know that many people don't want to go to Milwaukee. No superstars want to go to Milwaukee. I let me tell you, being from Milwaukee, I don't want to go to Milwaukee and live there no more. Especially after living in California and Arizona now being everywhere else i don't want to go back to living like that even though i do sometimes consider living back on walkie it's just a simple life but it's ratchet out there i live in the birds but anyways um nobody wants to go out to milwaukee but you know what Le you know what Giannis did uh he won he won he won he won in milwaukee 
With only the help of Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday, which are not considered to be superstars. They're all stars. One's a two time all star now, the other one times a three time all star, but they're not considered to be big timers. They still disparaging Drew Holiday to this day after that uh, defeat in the first round this past season. Dirk. Well, Dallas is a little bit different. People will actually want to go to Dallas, even though Dallas is the most inland big city. Well, not the most inland, but it's an inland big city with no beaches and none of that. But still, everybody wants to move to Dallas and be a cowboy. No pun intended. But Dirk did it with the old-ass Jason Kidd. Tyson Chandler, who I don't even think was an all-star at the time. And a bunch of other role players. So their championships is always going to be more respected. And they never really complain about having more help at all. They never really did. But LeBron, he gotta have his way. And if he don't have his way, and if he does have his way, and they still lose, it's always his scapegoat. And I feel like that is gonna be forever on his legacy. We all know that for being on his legacy of just always with the excuses. Always with the blames on everybody else, not taking accountability. Say what you want about Jordan. When they lost, Jordan took full responsibility. Superstars usually take full responsibility. They don't try to shy away from it. Well, maybe the superstars are old. Now they, uh, yeah, it's always somebody else's fault. Even outside of LeBron, it's always somebody else's fault. You never hear Kevin Durant ever say it's his fault for losing so well I don't know maybe you gotta look that one up I'm not gonna disparage Kevin Durant like that right now right now but anyways LeBron 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 always with the excuses either his foot or my wrist or my hand my knees my back uh, Russell Westbrook is Dwayne Wade it's fault it's Kevin Love's fault it's Anthony Davis fault Chris Bosch's fault. Kyle Kuzma's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. It's never my fault. I take no blame. I did everything I could. I got my point. I got my double double. I pad my stats. <laughs> I don't know what you guys talk about. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man.